Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 3 Lesson 1 homework. So let's get started. Number 1, determine the perimeter and area of rectangles A and B. Alright, so here we have it on um, a graph kind of thing with the boxes. So let's see, first we have rectangle A. So side lengths are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if this side is 5, then this side is also 5, and that side is also 8. So first, let's find our area. We know that area equals length times width. So here, area would be 5 times 8. So our area is 40. Area is 40. Where's um like square centimeters if you want. Centimeter square. Alright, and then for perimeter, we have perimeter equals two times length plus width. So in this case our perimeter would be two times five plus eight. So then it's 2 times 5 plus 8 is 13, and 13 times 2 is 26, so our perimeter is 26. Alright, and rectangle B, let's see, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on this side, so this side is also 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 on this side, and 7 on the other side. So our area equals length times width again. So area for this one would be 5 times 7. So our area is 35. My perimeter, 2 times the length plus width. So that's 2 times 7 plus 5, which is 2 times 12. So our perimeter is 24. So it's 24. All right, and number two says, determine the perimeter and area of each rectangle. So they've given us the measurements. So A, our perimeter, perimeter equals two times length plus width, two times three plus seven, two times 10, because three plus seven is 10. So our perimeter is 20. Oh, did I write, why did I write 12? Perimeter is 20. Alright, our area, area equals length times width. So our area equals 3 times 7. Area equals 21. That's our area. Alright, and next one. Perimeter again equals 2 times the length plus the width. So our perimeter this time is 2 times. 9 plus 4. 9 plus 4 is 13, so our perimeter is 2 times 13, and that was 16. So our perimeter is 16. Oh, oh no, 16, 20, 26. All right, our area equals length times the width. Your area equals 9 times 4. Alright, so that area is 36. Alright, now next page. Number three. Determine the perimeter of each rectangle. Alright, so let's start with A. So we're only finding the perimeter. Perimeter equals 2 times the length plus width. So it's 2 times... 149 plus 76 meters. 140, 149 plus 76 is 225. Alright, so then our perimeter, 225 times 2, that's 450. So our perimeter is 450. But B, let's see, um, perimeter equals... 2 times length plus width, 2 times 
2 meters 10 centimeters times 100 is 210 centimeters. That's 210 plus 45. Alright, prime rate equals 2 times. 210 plus 45 is 255. So the R perimeter is 510. 510. All right, number four. Given the rectangle's area, find the unknown side length. All right, so area equals length times width. And we know our area is 60. So of 60, we know one part six equals six times W. And um, six times 10 is 60. So 60 equals six times 10. So six times 10 equals 60. Means our side length is 10. All right, and then for B, again, area equals length times width. Our area is 25, and that equals five times another number. Five times five is 25, so 25 equals five times five. You can write it as five times five equals 25. So our missies, missing side length would be five. All right, and next page. Given the rectangle's perimeter, find the unknown side length. All right, so P, 180 centimeters is our perimeter. So perimeter equals two times length plus width. So perimeter is 180. So 180 equals two times 40 plus our width. All right, so now it's time um, to do the math. So 180 equals two times 40 plus something. So let's see, 40 plus 40, because every times two, that's 80. And then 80, we need one or more to get to 180. 100 divided by two is 50. So let's see if our W is 50. If our W is 50, then 40 plus 50 is 90, and times two is 180. So 180 equals two times 40 plus 50. That's 90, so 180 equals 180. So our missing side length here would be 50. All right, and B, our perimeter is 1,000. P equals two times length plus width. Perimeter, actually our perimeter is 1,000. 1,000 equals two times our length plus width. So 150 plus W. Let's see, 150 plus 150 is 300. So that gives us 700 left in 1,000. And 700 divided by two is 350. So let's check. We have 1,000 equals two times 150 plus 350. 150 plus 350 is 500. So that's two times 500, and that's 1,000. Full 1,000. So our missing side length is 350. All right, number six. Each of the following rectangles has whole number side lengths. Given the area and perimeter, find the length and width. All right, so rectangle, um, this one, rectangle A, our area is 32. So let's see, what are some factors of 32? We know, um, let's see, we know four times eight is 32, we can write that down. Eight is 32. So let's try to check that. Area equals length times width. So then our area is 32. But now let's check if our perimeter will, will, will work out. Because we, we already know the area will work out. But perimeter equals 2 times length plus width. Twenty four, twenty four. that works out. So that means our sine lengths are 8 and 4. Alright, and then now for B. 36. Well, this rectangle looks kind of skinny, so we can kind of sort of tell that one side length will be bigger and the other one will be like way smaller. 
not very small, but just like pretty small. So 36, six times six is 36, but six and six are equal. So then for that to be the side lines, this would have to be, this would have to be a square, but this is a rectangle. So let's see, we know 12 times three is 36. So let's check that. The area works out for the perimeter Two, 12 plus 3 is 15. 2 times 15, 3 equals 30. So 30 and 30, so this makes sense. So width is 3 and length is 12. So yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.